Hello and welcome. My name is Mike Gillum, Product Specialist with the Acumatica Construction Edition. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a quick video on the Acumatica and Procore integration. First, I'd like to start by talking about the touch points of data synchronizing between Acumatica and Procore. On the screen, you're looking at the Acumatica and Procore integration data sheet. As I scroll down, you'll see a breakdown of the data flows between Procore and Acumatica Construction Edition. On the left-hand side, you see Acumatica in blue. On the right-hand side, you see Procore in orange. The arrows represent the flow of data going from either Acumatica on the left or Procore on the right. You can see double arrows there for the first few items. And there's a couple of one-way streets like commitments from Procore into Acumatica, commitment change orders, two-way street with commitment insurances, and then project transactions, things like payroll, time cards, expense, AP invoices, and subcontract invoices flowing from Acumatica to Procore. Let's go ahead and jump into the software. As you can see, I'm already logged into Acumatica and I'm on the Procore integration workspace. And this is where all of the magic happens. So first I'm gonna jump into the preferences screen and you'll see a list of preferences that pop up with tabs across the top here. This first tab shows me that I'm connected with Procore. I've got the URL API connected, the client ID and secret, I'm connected to my company. And then I've got other tabs here where I can pick and choose how I want this information to flow back and forth between the two products. For example, on this vendors and customers tab, I'm showing that Acumatica is the master system, meaning my vendors and customers are going to reside on the Acumatica side, and I'm going to want to synchronize that data with Procore. So Acumatica becomes the master system here. And then I've got different synchronization rules and settings that I can pick and choose how I want to export, update, import, or skip updates, etc., for vendors and customers. If I click on projects as an example, here's a case where I've made Procore the master system of record. So what this is saying is as a contractor, I'm starting my projects on the Procore side and I'm going to synchronize those with Acumatica. I could have it the other way. I could have Acumatica projects kick off and then I synchronize that with Procore. Completely flexible, up to you how you want the data to flow back and forth. Whatever your workflows are or business practices are, we can certainly accommodate that with the integration. So the same concept, I'm picking and choosing who the master system is, how I want to synchronize from a rules perspective, and which entities, in this case with projects, I want to synchronize tasks and cost codes and budgets and POs, subcontracts, change orders, project transactions, etc., all synchronizing. If I wanted to untick any of these to stop that flow, I can certainly do that. So same concept, if I go over to project tasks, for example, I'm saying Acumatica is the master system with account groups. Uh, this is the uh, account groups or cost types on the Acumatica side, synchronizing with Procore and vice versa. Same thing on the cost budget or project cost codes. I get to pick and choose how I want that information to flow back and forth by setting up these preferences. Once you've gone through the implementation and set this up, you're probably not going to come back in here and make changes, although you certainly could. So I'm going to go back to the Procore integration workspace, and now this is where I pick and choose how I want to manually synchronize information back and forth. Please keep in mind that some of these entities that we're synchronizing, you can set up an automated schedule to have, for example, in this case, vendors and customers synchronizing every day at 12 noon or three times a day, 6 a.m., 12 noon, and 6 p.m. And there's multiple settings you can have that happen on an hourly basis, daily basis, weekly basis, even hour by hour, minute by minute, should you want to set up that schedule uh, from an automated process. But I'm going to walk you through the manual process for this short video. So what I'd like to do here is just come in and I've created a company that I already created on the Acumatica side. And now here's that company. Over here on the left, all I have to do is pick that company that I want to synchronize and click export. It's now going through the synchronization process 
And over here on the right hand side, you're going to see in a second on this synchronization log, it show up and tell us that we've now synchronized that data. That customer vendor is now in both places. And one of the cool things it does as part of the integration is it creates a record ID in both products. If it starts on the Procore side, it's going to create that Acumatica record ID. Vice versa, if it starts on the Acumatica side, it's going to create the Procore record ID. So in this case, if I click on that Procore record ID in Acumatica, it's going to automatically open up Procore for us and take us right to this new vendor that was sent from Acumatica to Procore. So here's that new vendor. Here's all the information there. Email address, website, phone numbers, address, city, state, zip, et cetera, all came over as part of that synchronization flow with Acumatica and Procore. Now, I'm inside of Procore now, and i am already picked a project. So I'm in Procore. I've got this Mike's Beach Hotel project that I've created. One of the really nice things here, it's showing this visual indicator, this green chain link, letting us know that this project has already been synchronized with the Acumatica Construction Edition. But let's say I've gone and created some new commitments in Procore, whether that's a purchase order or a subcontract. Now I'm on that commitments tab in Procore, and I can see the purchase orders and subcontracts here, and the green chain link again, letting me know a visual indicator saying you've already synchronized this purchase order and that subcontract with Acumatica. So I see I've got some new ones here that need to be synchronized. So I can go back over to the Acumatica side and let's click on subcontract synchronization. And I just have to pick my project here and click import. And now there's those two subcontracts waiting for me now in Acumatica to synchronize. Over here on my log, I can see the last synchronization that was made. Let's say I want to bring in this tile subcontract. I could check both or tick this box and, and bring them all in at the same time. But if I just want to bring in this one, I just click import. It's going to go through the process now. And over here in a second, we'll see that synchronization log with that new subcontract created in Acumatica from Procore. So we had the Procore record ID already, but now it's created a subcontract ID in Acumatica. So here I'm seeing header information around the subcontract at the top, detailed information below, document details, vendor info, etc. And now it's come in in a status of on hold. If I take that off of hold, it just went to a status of open. I could have had it go through a approval process, full approval and assignment maps in Acumatica, but now this is open. I can come up here to actions and start to perform those tasks that I need to. I could enter an AP bill, complete the subcontract, cancel the subcontract, email that subcontract out right from within the system. Keep in mind, this subcontract was created in Procore and we've just very easily synchronized that on the Acumatica side. Same concept for all of the transaction types, all of the entities that we're synchronizing. If I now go to purchase orders, for example, and we'll pick our project here and click on import, here's three purchase orders created on the Procore side that are now waiting for me to bring into Acumatica. So let's say I want to bring in this concrete PO. I just select that one or I can go and select all of them or click the box up there. But let's just say for this video, I want to bring in this purchase order. All I do is click import. It's going to go through its process. And in just a second here, we'll see in our synchronization log, we've had success. And now I've got the Procore record ID already, and it's generated a purchase order Acumatica ID. And now I'm right into that purchase order. So I'm purchasing some concrete here. I've got header information around the PO at the top, details down here below. All that information exists. I can come in here. If this were in a certain status, I can email the PO, enter a PO receipt, enter the AP bill. Whatever I need to do on the Acumatica side from a financial perspective, I can now do with that purchase order that started over in Procore. So all of the same steps for synchronizing information from vendors and customers to projects and cost budgets. We could go back into Procore now. Uh, and I pull up the budget for this project. And this takes just a second to open up. 
And once we have that budget sitting here now on the Procore side, if we made a budget modification or we added a new budget line, whatever we did now on the Procore side can synchronize back with Acumatica. So now I can create a budget modification. You can see I've already done that a couple times. I've moved some money around from one task or cost code to another. I can send that budget modification back over to Acumatica, or I can create a brand new budget line or edit my budget lines and have that synchronized back with Acumatica automatically. I would just come in, go to my cost budget synchronization, pick the project, automatically synchronizing that data now in both places. So important to have that real time information. Same thing with project transactions. So if I pull up my same project here on the Acumatica side, I've got some transactions waiting for me. I can see over here, I've already synchronized the last sync I made, sent over some time cards perhaps from Acumatica, but waiting for me is an AP invoice, some subcontractor invoices, and I can come in and tick all of these or pick the ones that I wanna pick click export, it's gonna create that sync log, create the record ID, I can open up that right inside of Procore and look at it in the budget. If I go over here to the budget and we take a look at our direct cost column, that's where we're gonna see the invoices, the expenses, the payroll items that are coming in as project transactions as part of that synchronization. So very quickly, I know I shared a lot of information with you. You can always contact us to, to get more information. I hope this video helps you understand how that synchronization works as part of the Acumatica Construction Edition and Procore integration. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great one.